Good afternoon, I'm Heather Brown. And I'm Ali Lucia, thank you for joining us. Hundreds of students and faculty members at a St. Paul Music College are left in limbo after a surprise announcement. In an email last night, McNally Smith College of Music announced they don't have enough money to keep their doors open or to pay their employees. The school is blaming their funding trouble on the decline of higher education in general and on stricter regulations from the Department of Education. According to that email, these rules forced the school to convert to a nonprofit, which the IRS approved in April. Mary McGuire spoke with students who are now left scrambling. And, and Mary, what did they tell you they're going to do? Well, Heather, a lot of them don't know yet. Many students were just getting ready to take their finals when they got this news that their school would be closing its doors for good. In that surprise email announcement, the school begged faculty to stay on board without pay through the end of the term and issue grades for the sake of the students. If the school were to shut down immediately, administrators say more than 300 students wouldn't receive class credits for courses they already paid for and nearly 40 students wouldn't be able to graduate over this weekend. I spoke with one sophomore composition major today who has been a student at the college for a year and a half. He still showed up for his student work at the library today, even though he doesn't know when he will be paid. If there's anybody that should be mad, it's the faculty. I think, you know, I think students, I'm 19, we're young, we have our lives ahead of us. Some of these faculty members have family, you know, and they're dealing with them. Even if I knew this was going to happen, I wouldn't change it. You know, this has been an amazing year. Now, McNally Smith first opened its doors in 1985. The college currently has about 600 students and about 100 faculty members on staff. Tuition runs about $27,000 for a full time undergrad student. Now, the term officially ends on Wednesday, and many teachers and administrators have told students that they will keep on working for free in order to help sort things out. Jack McNally, the chairman and one of the founders of the school, says they are working to find the best possible options for their students to continue their studies. But so hard, Heather, especially for those teachers right ahead of the Christmas holidays right. to learn that they're not going to get their last paycheck. Yeah, difficult options all around. Thanks, Mary.